Hello and welcome to Bike Nation, I'm Bryn Lucas. Now in front of me I've got the Box JX1 open face helmet. Not a great deal of features to talk to you about but I will go into detail as much as I can over the next few minutes. <laughs> Now there are quite a few different open face helmets on the market and if you have a look at Bike Nation to find all the different models that are available to you, some that have got internal visors, sun visors, quick release systems for the visors too, lots of different options to so check out Bike Nation and have a look at the bottom of your screen, there's a little ticker tape running along there that will give you all the details of where to find us and where you need to go. So to this helmet then, it's made from a synthetic outer shell which is nice and strong but it's also very very lightweight too. It's got a full face visor, if we have a quick look at it here, full face visor there so it will give you a lot of protection but remember of course your chin isn't protected at any time so if you're going to be using your bike on the motorway a lot, think about getting a full face helmet. This is great for commuting or for town riding, that sort of thing. Anyway, the visor flips up and lowers down very easily. You can change it out though, so if you want to put a tinted visor in there, you can do. Bit of a tricky system, not like a quick release system. You've got this little screw here on the side, unscrew it, do the same on the other side there. All this comes off, the visor comes out, put the new visor back in and screw it up. Now you see you've got this nice peak to it too, this bit of a design feature. If you don't like it, then fear not because in the box you also get these, you get two of these, one for each side. Simply remove this screw, put the new one in place, screw it back up and you'll have this instead of this. So it's a slightly different look for you, entirely up to you of course. That's the visor, that's the outer shell. If we now have a quick look at ventilation, not much ventilation to talk about, of course you've got this huge area here for air to get in, but you do have a couple of escape vents out the back just there, so that lets all the hot air disappear out the back just there and keep you nice and cool when you're riding along. So that's the outside of the helmet, now let's have a quick look at the inside and the pads, nice and comfortable as you'd expect, squidgy yet supporting where you need them. But what's nice is you can actually take out the two cheek pads, one from either side there, so if you want to give them a bit of a clean, you can do and you can pop them back in, just three poppers is all it has there. But you can also take out this back pad too, there you go, take the poppers out, give it a bit of a pull on the front and it will come out, there you go. That's the back and top pad, give that a clean, once it's dry put it back in, nice and clean, smelling as you're riding along. So there you have it. Do remember of course it does come with these two side areas too, so if you don't like the peak on it you can change it out if you want to. It also has a bag to keep it scratch free when you're not wearing it. Now have a look at the sizing guide and if you've got any questions do get in touch with the Bike Nation team, they're standing by ready for your call, so give them a call, ask them any questions you may have and they'll do their very best to answer. Also make sure you subscribe to the Bike Nation channel, there are loads of different options available to you, helmets that have got flip down sun visors, quick release systems and a whole lot more as well. We're also on Facebook and Twitter and everywhere else too, so have a look there as well. Right, that's it from me, I'll see you all very soon.